Greetings gamer girls, I am Celci and also I'm Clone Clicks and I know welcome back to the Clone Network. Today we're on the Atari 2600. Let's see what it is. We're gonna be playing bowling on the A26. Now, uh now as you guys might know, I was I actually just got home from Florida. Um and uh of course because I live near a real a retro gaming store, I got a ton of games. I also cracked my phone. <laughs> but it still works the same, so it's fine. And, uh, bowling was one of them. I got a couple Atari games, I got an N64 game, um, got some NES games. Uh, unfortunately I had my NES with me, so I already played them. If you... But whatever. Let's, let's, let us bowl. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I like this. Oh, spare, awesome. But this is cool. I admittedly am actually kind of enjoying this already. Uh, see if I can get a strike. Aw. The ball just seems to go in a straight line no matter what. Aw. Discord, shut up. Oh. Okay. I don't want to do this. I guess maybe um throw the ball in relation in relation to um her character's feet. Let's try that. Oh boy. How am I going to get that, man? That's, that's quite a split there. Right. Oh, I can go all the way up there. Okay. Let's try that. Oh, you're so close. How many, uh, rounds are there? Or maybe not. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't think it's, I don't think it's round. And wow, I got the, I missed the center one. You can't really easily tell where the ball where the ball's gonna go. But I gotta say, this game look was looks pretty well done. I mean, this game was made in uh seventy eight if I'm not mistaken. Yes, this was made in nineteen nineteen seventy eight and I gotta say they did a pretty dang good job with the bowling with the bowling pin physics. <laughs> then again, yeah, you th you think thinking of physics in an Atari game. What's a strategy for getting a strike? There are probably experts at this game somewhere. So this is the tenth one. Is this going to be the last one? Okay, that's game over. And our final score was 111. Uh, you know. Hmm. 
Okay. Sorry about that. Um. You know what? Let's have another go at it. Heck, I I like this. The animation's not too bad either. It's not as good as not as good as ET, but it, it's pretty good. Yeah. You know, speaking of that, I'm probably gonna be so alone in this opinion, but I don't understand why ET was ranked the first as the worst as the worst game of all time. To be honest, I don't think it is. I thought it was pretty good. I mean. The animation in it was pretty dang good. I mean, once you once you call Elliot, um, you can see, you get to see some of the some of the best animations in the Atari, yeah, on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Plus, I mean, I know it wasn't exactly faithful to the movie, but when you really think about it, when you really think about how limited the Atari Twenty Six Hundred really was, you can't really expect much from it. I'll definitely say bowling was certainly a lot better than I, bowling was certainly a lot a lot better than I thought it would be. Oh! If I miss this, I should be ashamed of myself. What's the best strategy to getting, um, a strike? I'm sure I'll get it eventually. That's it, and our final score was 167. Okay, guys, I think now is going to be a good stopping point. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this Clone Network video. If you did, be sure to say you liked it. And be sure to let me know what games I should get for my Atari 2600. And as always, remember to smile. You were the face of Clone Collection and the 9 Gaming. Goodbye.